Hello kids, how are you all? I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to study chapter number 4 that is 1 and more than 1. Okay, so let's start. Okay, we have given pictures and count and write 1 or many. So students, you can see here pictures in which there are fruits of different types. And we have to write how many are they, one or many. So let's look out. So students, we have given watermelon at number one. So let's see how many are there watermelon. As we can see, there's one watermelon. So what would we write? One. So next we have to see how many are there apple, one or many. We can see there are more than one apple. So what would we write? many apple. Next we have mangoes. As we can clearly see there is one mango. So we will write one mango. Next we have grapes. As we can see bunch of grapes. So what would we write? Many. Next we have pomegranate. So we can see there is three pomegranate. So what would we write? Many. Moving towards banana we can clearly see there is many bananas. So, what would we write? Many. Next, we have muskmelon. As there is left just one muskmelon. So, what would we write? One muskmelon. Okay, students, let's read part A. Look at the pictures. Fill in the blanks by adding S to the naming words. Now, you can see there is so many pictures. And we have to add S to the naming words. Let's begin. So, we have to fill gaps. So, students, in question number one, we have given one book. And in the second picture, we have given three books. So, what would we write? Three books. Question number two, there is given one dog in the picture number one. Moving towards the next picture, we can see there is two. And what about the blank? We will write two dogs. Talking about the next picture, we have one table and at the same time, the next picture shows four and what would we write in the blank? Four tables. Next, we have a picture of doll. How many? There is one doll in the first picture and there is three dolls in the second. Moving towards the next picture, we can see there is one cat. And at the same time, you can see there are more than one cat. How many? Three cats. Okay, students, moving towards part B. One means singular and many means plural. Plural means more than one. A naming word or noun can be one or more than one person, place, animal or thing. So, students, did you know? Most naming words can be made plural by adding S or ES. Okay, let's read part C. Tick the correct word by looking at the picture. As you can see the pictures. Now let's do that. So, we have given so many pictures. Let's look. In the picture one, we can see boy. And the options available here, boy and boys. What would you pick? Of course, it's boy. Next, we have a different picture. Okay, so options given are balloon and balloons. We can see there's more than one balloon. So, what would we write? Yes, balloons. As you can see, the next picture, we have again more than one. And firstly, what it is? It's a bat. Because they are more than one, so we write bats. Okay, we can see your favorite bird, that is, yeah, what would you write but Parrot or parrots? Yes, of course, it's parrot because it's one in number. Moving forward, we have a picture of cute little toy or toys. What would you pick? Very good, you will pick toy because it's one in number. Next, we have potato and we have potato or potatoes. Of course, 
as it is more than one, so we will write potatoes. Now let's look at part D. Look at the picture. Fill in the blanks by adding ES to the naming words. So in the picture number one, we have given one. What? Bench. And in the next, we have given three benches. What we used here? ES. So we have written benches. Three benches. Next, we have a picture of tomato. And next, you can see we have tomatoes. Why? Because it's more than one. Okay, move forward to the next picture. We can see it is a bus which we use for travel. And in the next picture, you can see there's more than one bus. So, what would we write? Yes, very good. We will write buses. Next, we have a picture of glass. We can see there's one glass and there's two. So, what would we write? Two glasses. Okay, kids, let's do some activity. Find out the plural form of these words in the crossword puzzle. Circle them. Aap dekh sakte hain, there is a dumbbell form of box in which various words has been given. So, what you have to do? You have to see the pictures and then make some words. Which kind of words? Plural words. So, we have given some words as a cross and as down. Let's read the cross one. First one is given duck, second gun, three potato, fourth bat, fifth star, number six toy, number seven pen, number eight we have given line. Now let's see the words which are given in the section of down. Okay, so number one we have dog and number two we have deer and the third we have tomato. Okay, students, we will meet in the next class. Until then, take care. Bye-bye and thank you so much.